So this is the continuation of the part one of storing and retrieving images as blobs from SQL database in JavaFX application. In part one, we created a database Java and a table image and also set up a project. So if you haven't been there before, I just, I suggest you should. We left with setting up a new project now in part 2a we'll set up a basic layout with a couple of button and an image view let's get going i'm inside sample.fxml and i'll assign fx id to grid pane I'll add an image view with a quick import assign its fx id as well and set its position to row 0 in pane I'll add a button set its position to row 1 assign its fx id as well another button in the same way now our second button is to retrieve image from database and first button is to open a file chooser to store quickly checking No errors, looks good. Part 2B is about database connection from out application. In controller, let's, add, let's annotate and add our components from sample.fxml. Initialize is a function that's going to be triggered implicitly when the fxml gets rendered. You should be familiar with the techniques of the database connection. If not, it's okay. Prepared statements are very close to SQL statements, but it's got placeholders for all your configuration before you fire it. Store and retrieve are two prepared statements. Now I'm going to create a couple of statements as a string. The question mark symbol is your placeholder. It's important to add MySQL database controller jar in your project.
in try block I'm setting up the connection with the connection string as here. catching SQL exceptions if any occurs. Quickly testing for any errors. No errors, cool. Oh, I forgot. Let's also prepare our prepare statement. Part 2C is about event handling, binding the button clicks to controller's function. I'm going to use the lambdas for this event handling. Open and save is a function I'm going to create later and load image too. Outside of initialize, let's create two methods, methods or function. When you click open and load, it's going to print to the console. So looks okay. Now we'll continue in the next video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next and final part. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. And if you have any queries, please feel free to write down below in the comments.